guys, Spikey Boy here. Um, I got a uh, my friend wanted me to make a custom build PC for him. So we ordered parts uh, like last week or something, and they all arrived today. So um, I'm probably I'm not probably I'm definitely gonna do a video on how to build a computer. And uh, some of the parts that he got, I'm gonna go through right now. So. Um, the motherboard he's using is the Saber 2 990FX. Nice motherboard that's gonna be used for um, for the computer he's having. Uh, the computer is gonna be based on um, on room for expansion later on. That's why he went with the Saber 2 because it supports AM3 Plus, which will support. Uh, the bulldozer that's coming out soon so he can expand that but right now he's going to be using the AMD Phenom 2 or yeah Phenom 2 1090T 6 core processor same as mine also the RAM he's using is the uh, rip jaws the ones I'm using as well except they're a bit different timings mine's 1666 is um, 1333 so it's a bit of a difference there but not much um, graphics card same as mine and so we're gonna run these cards in crossfire and see if we get any differences uh, and if it's worth buying second card for me and for him later on the power supply he's using is the uh, box High current gamer from Antec. That's 750 watt power supply. And the case he's using is the Cooler Master HAFX full tower size case. Okay, guys. So the first thing I like to do when I build a computer is to um, get the case out and put in the power supply. Power supply is probably the easiest thing to be doing uh, when building a computer. It's pretty much four screws holding in the back, and uh, you route your cables the way you want. Uh, the power supplies either uh, can be mounted on top of the case or on the bottom, depends on the case, uh, model, and manufacturer. Um, when you mount on the top, your fan obviously is going to point downwards, whereas when you don't mount it on the bottom, you can either have it from the bottom up, so the fan is on the bottom, uh, if you have ventilation like here. Or you can have it this way. I just put it all. I always put it this way. Just, just the thing I have. And I like the way it looks. And um, uh, the only disadvantage of putting it this way is that you have your cables sticking up this side, so you have to get them to go across all the way through the width of the case. So after you do this, um, you kind of want to route all the cables and uh, have a look around and get a fair idea of how you want to get your cables managed if you have a fan on the back I usually twist the cables or um, heat shrink and wrap them and I find a good way to um, to hide it in the back of the case this case has a little notch there on the top so you can wrap it this way and you do it with all the fans that you have in the case pre-installed this right here is the Wi-Fi router and that's just sticked on with a with a bit of two-sided tape and a zip tie here. One second. There we go. And uh, that's just gonna give my friend the fella that I'm building the case for, or the computer for, and uh, just wireless access to internet. So um, next we're gonna put in the CPU. Stay tuned for that. So what we're going to do is uh, mount the CPU right now. So first thing you want to do is open up the the socket. It's just a little notch here. You just pull it up like this. And that just opens up, as you can see, it opens up um, the socket for us. So next thing we take out the CPU and mount it in there. Okay, so here's the chip we're going to put into the socket. And uh, when you're doing this, you'd want to pick it up from the top and remember not to touch the pins on the bottom 
with AMD processors they have the pins on the bottom of the uh, CPU Intel has the pins in the motherboard now see these you don't want to touch them at all so uh, to align the CPU sorry to align the CPU with the motherboard you have to look for a little triangle on the motherboard and as you can see this one is right there on the corner hopefully you can see it if you can't uh, trust me there's a little triangle point in that direction that way and there's another one on the CPU right there the golden one and you just wanna put it in like so just drop it in don't push any don't push it or apply any force on it, it should slide back right in you just make sure it's secure and you press the lever down and that's it that's your CPU installed so next thing you want to do is you want to put some thermal compound on it and put a CPU cooler and some of you might use the stock cooler that comes with AMD or Intel which is this thing here I don't use that at all I use a, we have a mar aftermarket one bought here which is the thermal take Frio and we're gonna install it now so just give me a second okay so this is a CPU cooler we're going with as you can see it's not the smallest CPU cooler and it's definitely not the lightest one so um, usually to mount these you have instructions and mounting plates that come with the CPU so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna mount it on to the CPU it's it's you just follow the instructions on there and um, that should be your uh, CPU cooler on so stay tuned for that I'm just gonna do it now